don't know what they're telling, but uh, I've just been driving with the handbrake on. I haven't the heart to tell him. I, I, need, I need to know. I, I know I should what, have told him, but is that what I can smell? Yeah, mate. That was. It was fully on. That's why I was putting so much gas coming up. Oi! Go on the outside of Jason. Zalan's got his arm around an imaginary girl. Look at his arm. What, what does he think he's doing? He thinks he's got a girl with him. This is how he has sex with invisible people, just his hand. Uh, Gilbert, firstly, thank you for being part of our gathering today of Rust Buckets and Rex. Uh, well, I mean, jubilant Jaguars, uh, of course. Um, listen, just a few quick questions. Uh, I guess the first thing we have to ask you, Gilbert, is just how did you get into Jags? Oh, tell us the beginnings me. and tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, not much about myself. Uh, okay, so I think um, I got introduced to Jaguars uh, because in the family, one of my mom's cousins was a Jaguar mechanic. And we had uh, a neighbor who was the biggest Jaguar collector in Lebanon. Yeah. And I was exposed to these cars when I was young. And I remember when I was 14 years old, I saw a next J6 Series 1 in baby blue. And uh, that's when it all started, I guess. Okay. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been, I think, 20 years now. The first car I got, I was uh, 17 years old. Took money from my mom. And uh, after that, I think I'm now at car number 20 or something like that. So quite an addiction. How many Jags are owned by people who were born after 1960? Probably about 12 of which Gilbert probably owns about 12. I do think if you do own a Jag, you are allowed to steal things. Like, <laughs> you know, for example, in a hotel. I'm you, gonna... <laughs> you can walk out the front door with the mattress from your room. And no one and will stop you. it's just acceptable. Because you're going to put it in a Jag. Given that I know the cars so much now, I'm, I'm like comfortable dealing with them. I know them. I know they make, like, I, I fix them by myself. Are we leaking fuel? I think we're leaking fuel, mate. Alan, we're leaking. Can you see any fuel? No, not your car, ours. Just goes to show, is doesn't that, it? Yeah, the assumption is that his is leaking. Oh, that didn't sound good. Was that from the car? Yeah. Oh, no, it's a bike. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be driving it with this intense nervousness that at any minute now, it will uh, just disintegrate. <laughs> so I think I'm too much into Jaguars, but at the same time, I do appreciate, like, other cars like Bugatti, for example, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bentleys, Rolls, pre-war cars. I love pre-war cars. But look, I mean, the Jags, if you look at them, uh, th their design is quite nice. I think there's a lot of uh, inspiration that's coming from Bugattis mainly as well. So it just grows on you. And at the end of the day, they're like beautiful cars. It's really quite beautiful. This is um, genuine plastic wood. This is genuine plastic plastic. You can move this, but given that no air comes out of it, it's purely decorative as to what direction you want to see it in. You want to see the reflection of the dust from this angle or the reflection of the dust from that angle. None of these dials have moved the entire time we've been driving. So if you notice, we're still doing zero miles an hour and our trip hasn't moved. So not only is this illegal, but Zalan's obviously clearly illegally clocking his cars to show them it's having lower mileage than they do. So he is exactly the kind of second-hand Jaguar man you'd expect to see. A Jag represents mahogany, uh, tobacco smothered on an old man's chest, yeah. and um, old faithful, reliable British engineering. Brilliant. They're fast, I would say. I mean, it's relative, but for, they are quite fast for In their, their days. Day. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to see the acceleration? Yes. Watch this. You ready? Absolutely nothing. By the time the car has started to move, it's so slow that it's time to put the brake back on because the brake takes so long to react. So basically, all you do with this car is make noise and then stop it making noise. And uh, I love the lines as well. Like they're, they're beautiful cars to look at, honestly, and also they're beautiful to drive. Everyone respects a Jag. 
It's a bit like Aston Martin. Yeah. You drive an Aston Martin, you park it up and on a relatively poor road, but someone passes an Aston Martin, they say, do you know what? It's a nice car. But if you parked a Ferrari on that same road, they'd look at you and go, what a car. But they want the car still. Yeah, they want the car. They I mean, just hate you. Know, you. That's, that's without doubt. They just hate you as a person for driving that car and owning it. Honestly, I think the one that I really uh, love the design or the curves or you know whatever you want to call it is the red uh, 120, the fixed head coupe. Yeah, um, it's such a beautiful it's car to look at. It's a precious one, isn't it? We've all, we can tell it's the precious. Uh, it's uh, I like it. I don't, <laughs> you can't say you know like you, you should love your kids all uh, the same, but uh, the fixed head coupe is it has amazing lines um, and I think as well again. I keep referring to Bugattis because I think it looks a lot like the Type 37. So William Lyons, and this is this is like uh, this is what goes around and like a rumor or a myth that Sir William Lyons, when he designed these cars, he was inspired by the Type 37 from the pre-war because that's in 1952. Um, so I think yeah, that's that's one of the purest lines yeah. and uh, the most classic. As for this over here, these buttons, as you can see. Again, purely decorative. Absolutely nothing happened. <laughs> this one here, fuel. I'm not quite sure what it does, but nothing. <laughs> Luckily, the clock will tell you the right time twice a day. And as for this map, well, I'm not quite sure why it's got a map button because you can see there's no navigation system. So it is literally just a three colored button. As far as I can work out, it clicks. And this one tells me I'm in the interior, which is pretty bloody obvious. I'm not on the outside, am I? Uh, Gilbert, which Jag has lost most of its parts around Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> well, good question. I think all of them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but look, all of them today, have some bits and pieces. Look, we've managed to get them all into place today, so exactly. at least they are working. So that was fine. some, honestly, I've never done that, by the way. So I've never had these cars all together in one place. Although they all live like in one building, yeah. except for the for the shell E type, what I call shell E type. But yeah, it's beautiful actually to have them all together. It's uh, it's my birthday today, so the shell E type. It's uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It, yeah. I thought that was finished. Sorry, yeah. No, yeah, that's actually. Work. It's I just need to put to put the wheels on. But uh, yeah, I was telling you it's my birthday, so yeah, yeah. thank you By for the saying way, everyone, happy birthday. By the way, everyone, can we all? <laughs> it's, his, it's Gilbert's birthday yeah, today, so uh, we can all have a it's happy okay, birthday, thank you, Gilbert. Thank you guys, thank you. Dubai Drive style, we, uh, yeah. <laughs> we were going to say that before, but yeah, happy birthday, mate. No, thanks, it's, man. It's, it's Sorry, been, yeah. uh, it's been a I'm actually quite uh, happy to do that, like for a, for, a, for a change, you know? Yeah, yeah. Something think, a bit different, uh, right? Yeah, and thank Which you guys awesome. for pulling this together. Well, I mean, you're, you're more than without welcome. your help. Listen, we're not finished yet with a few more testing questions oh, for you. So what do you say to all the Porsche fanboys out there? Oh, f them, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like they're all over the place and they're so not unique. But I've got to say, I mean, personally, I'd rather be in this than, a, than, let's say, a Porsche of the same generation. What are we looking at? What's this? It's got to be 1987? Seven, seven, yeah, yeah. So what, what were Porsche producing at the time? Uh, cars that could get you from A to B. No, but no, no, honestly, I like the Porsches as well. Maybe my next car, my next daily would be a Porsche if I can still afford one. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know why it's always like Jag or Porsche. I think the 911 was inspired by the E-Type, you know, like the hatchback and you know, they were trying to imitate it, but they never succeeded. Yeah. But still, they're, they're great well, cars. Mr. Enzo right? himself said, the most beautiful car ever, right? Yeah. That's why we got two and a half here. Exactly. Listen, Gilbert, that's, that's all I got. But uh, thanks very much for bringing them out. It's been Thank a pleasure. You. Thanks, everyone. It's been a great day out as well. Yeah, it's thanks awesome for that. It's awesome seeing these, these cars all in one place. Yeah, so let's go have much, some buddy. fun now and do some donuts. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. Graham, Graham actually looks like, a, like an East End uh, uh, <laughs> London bad gangster. Uh, driving around with his arm out the window on the XJC. Looks like a bad Pratt. Uh, you know, it looks like Stan the Stabber. Cruising around East End of London. Uh, and you know what, he'll never admit it, but he loves that thing. Yeah, I think I we mean, need to get, yeah, yeah, he does. Graham is Porsche to the core. He is. But in that XJC, he looks deep, right deep at home. Down, he does love cars, man. They did think ahead, Jaguar, so when they designed this tray that we got here in the middle of my dashboard, we obviously knew that in the future we would have iPhones because it fits perfectly. 
The one good thing about this Jaguar was that it looked 60 years into the future as what technology might do. <laughs> and it appreciated that you would be able to record how crap this car was. And to stop you doing it, it had a shelf here for your camera so you wouldn't film how shit the car was. And that's it, really. Graham said that, 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 was over there. Because you don't know what the floor tile is called, so you just call it a that. So Graham said that, that, that. What, what, what are we talking about? 